number 66. This back in London, over this side of the pond for the big game two in the poker den. And Casey Thompson, who uh, I think this is the only televised cash game he played over here, but boy, was he a star. You know Robert Williams in the third, yeah. obviously. Yeah, legend of the game. <laughs> Every time I see him, he has a little tub of Tabasco sauce with him <laughs> for his beers. And uh, this is the, uh, Brian Townsend, a guy who uh, never played that much on TV. This was uh, quite a great show, actually, because there's some great hands for Brian Townsend, who, who was huge on the scene as known as SB Rugby for a while. He's still around. He's still playing. I played him heads up for a little bit online the other day. I hadn't seen him, but he's still kicking around the heads-up tables, I think he took some making a living. Yeah. 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 What role did Tony G chosen to wear? <laughs> I, mean, Tony, I actually tried to buy that shirt off Tony after this game, and uh, I offered him 100 euros for it. He wouldn't, wouldn't take it. I really did. I, mean, I, thought, he won, I think he won $100,000 for that shirt. Yeah. Builds a pot, now we got something to shoot at. There's a lot of poker players that are superstitious as well, isn't there, with clothes? Yeah. You see them wearing the same clothes all the time, the clothes that they've been lucky in. You got the buttons. What would you do? Every time I watch Roland in these things, I mean, even if he's in the hand or Check. not, Check. just Check. it's always such a shame Check. that he doesn't play on TV as much Check. as he used to. He's yeah. just such good value to he's watch. He's a character, isn't he? He's got a big personality and he's, he's a likable guy. Check. Check. He doesn't really play that much poker these days. Thousand. Plays a few Call. private games and Call. hardly ever see him play the big tournaments. Pass. <coughs> to me, this is oh, so much of RW3 style. Pass. He loves to just let people bet for him and him him stuff like that. <laughs> he does just well. Sleep <laughs> it's weird. He's only missed two ones all day. I'll leave it to you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid of that. Casey's made this move in a five-way pot. Yeah, on that one. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Sucker off the street. How much more is it? About I started playing when I was 11. Uh, and about they'll, 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 they'll let you rebuy. Yeah, I know. Probably I not going to be shocked and to hear that he lost like $80,000 in this game. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm such a sicker. Um, need to I might see more of these guys. <laughs> Don't see him around anymore. 5,475. Mm. Still not an easy call, though, is it, by Robert Williams? Well, I mean, you, you re you're drawing <laughs> dead against five. almost any legitimate yeah. hand, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, Casey, Casey, Casey. Yeah. Um, I've got Tony G. Plug. You got any of that or a lot of it? Didn't he kind of shoot himself in the foot, though, by not, like, betting the flop into five people? I don't people? know what I have. I don't know. Is he, yeah, it doesn't make a whole ton of sense, but really well. you never know with an unorthodox player like this. They could be doing something funky. Just, and, yeah, you, know, flops you, can, you can beat a straight. You had four or five good clubs in the last hand. Yeah, yeah, turned yeah, yeah. Up How about two pair? Can you beat two pair, Casey? You can beat two pair? It's huge. Wow. You're a different model. I think I have the second best hand. I think you do have the best hand. He's pretty good at reading people, RW. All right, Casey. Casey, you, you need to win a pot. This is really crap. Go ahead. Oh, it's nice to see you. Go <laughs> what a bluff that is. <laughs> You're very lucky. <laughs> I'm very lucky, Zaz. <laughs> there were a lot of great moments in this big game, too, and that was one of them.